Um... Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction. Of course, I'm Rick. <laughs> you can follow us mm. on Instagram, Twitter for our juicy content. Thank you, everyone, sports on Patreon. Follow follows for the account. Subscribe, like a button. Now only the left side is horny. <laughs> 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 I need to, off the rails already. I need to get a a little hook because I want to put that like over here, and so I could just ring the. That's to ring it at any time. You can, and then I put one over there. And you can have a gong. <laughs> Bong. You know, what I used to call those things? It's a triangle. Yeah, it's a triangle. But then I, because of seeing so many American cartoons, I used to think that's. For hillbillies? Yeah, the dinner so, bell. So I always oh, used to say, like, gotcha. that's a barn barn thing. That's a barn it, triangle. In the triangle. in the West and in the South, but particularly, like, the Texas and all, like, the, the Westerns you'd watch, whenever all the ranchers are the... Yeah, the cow hands. <laughs> whenever the cook had the food ready. Yes. Today we got a food video. And this hey, is, uh, speaking of food. For, oh. the, for the best street food what finds happened? in Mumbai. Was it getting, getting, getting loud? What happened? Yeah, no, food, I'm very hungry, and oh. food will make me hungry. So well, there you go. well, you're not gonna see no, no, it. No, no, but still, the sound and all right. go. Okay, and go. Bye. I love well, you, babe. Ronnie's leaving. All right. Uh, anyways, uh, four, four of the best street food finds in Mumbai. Four of the best street I bet food one finds of them's gonna be in Mumbai. Vatapav. Here we go. If you're hungry, I there am. is no better city in India to find a snack. There's no than better Mumbai. city in India With to over find a snack than Mumbai. Residents, That's the city a controversial is statement. Constantly on the move. It's loud, crowded, and full of flavors. Every street corner is a chance to taste something fantastic. North of the center, in a quieter neighborhood called Borivali, you'll find a sandwich stand that is one of a kind, and definitely worth the 300 rupee ride. Ooh, Bahu Bali sandwich in Mumbai. Bahu Bali में तो सबसे बड़ा. देखो normally दुनिया में सब लोग दो sandwich बनाते हैं सादा sandwich, toast sandwich. Not a Jersey Mike's. अलग दिखो. मेरा नाम कुणाल मिस्त्री है. मेरा stall यहाँ पे बोरी वाली west में है, opposite Gokul Hotel. मुझे ऐसा लगा कि अगर मुझे आगे बढ़ना है, मुझे कुछ बनना है, तो दुनिया में अलग तरीके से मैं अपना नाम करूँ. फिर मैंने अपना दिमाग लड़ा के उसके फोर लेयर का किया ताकि पब्लिक ज़्यादा हैट्टे करे नीचे के स्लाइस में बेबी कॉन सेंडी जाता है उसके ऊपर के स्लाइस में पानी का सेंडी जाता है विथ ऑलिव्स जेलेपिनो और फिर ऊपर के स्लाइस में तमाम तरह के खाजर केरी कोबी वो सब चीज़ में उनके साथ फोर लेयर से थोड़ा तीखा लगेगा, थोड़ा सेज़न चटी लगेगा, और फिर मैं पाइनेपल डालता हूँ, और जाम डालता हूँ, वो हिसाब से उसको टेस्ट में पूरा अलग ही लगता है जो आपने नेवर सीन एनीथिंग लाइक दैट। I would eat it. Absolutely. Great things come in pairs, and it just so happens that around the corner from Kunal Stand is another exceptional spot. It's a traditional Indian puri dish, completely reimagined. ये कोई हेल्थ के लिए नहीं है, ये जस्ट फॉर फन है। मेरा नाम मेहुल कुमार है और मेरा काउंटर बोरी वाली वेस मुंबई 92 मेरे यहाँ पे अलग एक्स्ट्रा वेगेंस है। शेवपुरी के ऊपर हम लोग वेजिटेबल ओह माय वर्ड ब्लॉक करते हैं। उसके बाद चीज डाल के उसको ब्लॉक करते हैं और उसको मेहुल के थाउजेंड डिप के साथ सर्व कर Thousand Island. So wild. I've not seen any of these in Thousand Island. I mean, for four years, I was not explaining to everyone. Then everyone was laughing. But today, people are copying me. Extra vegans are when we eat. That looks amazing. It feels warm. After that, Italian flavor comes. And after a little while, it's the whole Indian flavor. I mean, Indian and Italian mix. That's wild. Extra vegans. That's it. Best dish. I would want to try that too. That Back looks near city center, just do down the road from Juhu Beach, is a stand that is there. elevating a dish every minute. Nice word, minutes. elevating. Pizza dosa. Dosa naam lete customer ke mind mein sirf ek saada dosa hi unke mind mein aata hai. To hum unko ye batana chahte hain ki isse bhi bahut kuch hai dosa mein. Mera naam Anand Nainar hai. Main Anand Stall ka owner hu, jo opposite Mitty Bhai College, Vinay Parle West, Mumbai mein hai. Dosa ek South Indian dish. ये तो हर जगह मिलता है। दोसा राइस बैटर को फ्राई करके ऑलमोस्ट पतले लेल में क्रिस्पी लेल में लेके आके 
पिताजी ने पिज्जा दो इन्वेंट किया था 2000 में जहाँ पर पिज्जा ज्यादा हिट चल रहा था कॉलेज स्टूडेंट लोग ज्यादा प्रेफर करते हैं तो क्यों ना हम लोग पिज्जा डोसा स्टार्ट करें वैसे उनके दिमाग में कैसे थॉट है तो इंग्रीडियंट्स भी ऑलमोस्ट वही सिमिलर था तो वो पिज्जा स्टाइल में आता है हिट तुरंत हो गया था एक्चुअली पिज्जा डोसा का टेस्ट बोल सकते हैं मोर ऑफ इंडियन एंड फिर कैसे भी एक तो पिज्जा पिज्जा डोसा तो प्रेफर करते ही है तो पिज्जा डोसा वैसे पहले से पॉपुलर Love the fusion. In an authentic Indian. If you head it's east delicious. and cross Sanjay National Park, you'll emerge on a newer side of Mumbai. There isn't much happening culturally, but there is a dish you won't find anywhere else. Pop like pop bhaji. Oh, corn. Ice cream ka corn alag rehta hai. Ye bhi corn alag rehta hai. Magar isme khane ke baad jeera veera dalte hain to crunch aata hai aur alag taste rehta hai iska. Mera naam Hiren Chawla hai. Main stall apna MG Road pe lagata hu Mulund mein. इस डिश को वेज कॉर्न बोलते हैं कॉर्न का टेस्ट एकदम क्रंची टाइप का रहता है खट्टा मीठा थोड़ा रहता है कॉर्न मेहंदी का भी बनता है गेहूं का भी बनता है और इसमें भाजी रहता है वो गरम करके कॉर्न में डालता हूँ प्याज रहता है सेव रहता है सॉस रहता है चाट मसाला रहता है वो सब गर्म करके भरते हैं इसमें क्योंकि सर गाँव से इधर आया हूँ कुछ अलग करने के लिए पब्लिक देखती है तो एक्साइट होती है कि क्या नया वेराइटी है क्या नया आइटम है मुंबई जैसे बड़े शहर में चांस लिया जा सकता है That's awesome. Oh, wow. I, I try every one of them. So so original, man. Yeah. I I wanted to do it when we were in Mumbai even though we had the most time in Mumbai. It was still a very packed trip already. Yeah. And we were exhausted as well. Especially Corbin. Yeah. Um but uh we didn't have time to do everything I wanted to do. Uh, we got to do some. I, Obviously, you saw all the videos. We got to do quite a few, but I, I wanted to do like a street snack, like food, like street food video, and we just didn't have the time. For I, it I think time. everyone who has ever visited India what comes back and says we just didn't have enough time. Yeah, well, there was we need we wanted to do more. We wanted to stay longer. I remember I before we ever made the trip, I told you the, the story of a lady I talked to who I was telling her about the channel. She asked if I'd ever been. And I said no, and she said that she's been on four or five different occasions. And spent a month or two at a time, and she still feels like she barely even scratched the surface, which yeah. I can I totally understand. Yeah, yeah. I, uh, I mean, think about someone who's a native like Indrani, who, when we did our trips, there were tons of things she'd never she experienced. She'd never been to any of this. Tons of the stuff. She'd never she'd been to New Delhi. Never been to the Golden Temple. Never been to the Wagga border. She had uh, only briefly been to Delhi, Mumbai, just quick trips. But didn't experience a ton of the things that we got to experience. Did she go to the local Chuck E. Cheese? Yes, always. That's a big thing for most Indians, I think, is <laughs> the Taj Mahal, and then number two is Chuck E. Cheese. I found that so funny. It was wonderful. The stupid movie set it up, and yeah, well, that's where we had a meet and greet. Um, I didn't know that's where it was. I and, and I was, like, oh, sung, I was sung a beautiful birthday song. Oh, yeah, you were. Uh, um, and they had a birthday cake and everything, um, and lots of food. I don't know if that could. Past post COVID now maybe now because things have laxed up a little bit but oh, every yeah. meet and greet there were beautiful stupid babies who had beautiful sweets and foods and things for us to eat and try and we weren't able to take everything back because we wouldn't have been able to uh, obviously it was rough um, it was so much just food have let it. yeah um, so we had to try almost uh, everything but we had to also give the stuff away because we did there was just no way it would have if you haven't seen it we have quite a few videos of our trip. To India that include eating food like at the McDonald's. Yeah, uh, that was a fun one. Though. That was a fun one, and we did a beer so, drinking so, thing, and so different. We had quite a few interesting, wonderful food yeah. experiences. Yeah, way to go, Corbin! Instead of doing snack videos, you did alcohol <laughs> videos. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's about right. <laughs> uh, I think there were there was a whiskey one, there was a beer one, right? Yeah. Okay, so somebody calls you up right now, says, "I've seen your channel. I love what you do. I'd like for you to do." a show that's going to be on Netflix where you're going to go around the world trying every different kind of alcohol imaginable. Yeah. You would love that, my wouldn't you? My first question would be, can my family come? Exactly. Let's say they can. <laughs> Let's say the whole family can come. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I would you would it. love that. I would do it in a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. In a heartbeat. That would yep. be so fun. <laughs> Try different cultures. Uh, Anything. That's one of my amazing. favorite shows to watch are shows where there's food and drink from people who are going and experiencing it. For the first time, or who love it, like I mentioned before, I, I love um, the Italian show that's with um, Stanley Tucci. Yeah, with Tucci, it's a fun show. Tucci's Coochie. 
I don't know about that. You think him and Meryl Streep ever hooked up? <laughs> Maybe. That's that's a that's a smash or pass question for Andrani and I. Who? Meryl Streep. Current age. Current age. Yeah, I told her when, when if you t- if, like when she was first starting out, it's a no brainer. What's your? I but she knows my answer. What's what's your answer for Meryl right now? Probably pass. Wow. Unless it can get me Not further me, in my career. Not me, man. <laughs> no. Everything plow about that gray beaver all night. Oh no! Everything about Meryl is so attractive. I think she's a really attractive lady. Well, you were also much closer to her age than that. I doesn't am. matter. I, I, I. There's a lot of ladies in their seventies that How are smashable. She? Meryl. Hmm. I'm guessing Meryl's right around 67. How old is Meryl Streep? 67. Meryl Streep is 74 years old. Wow. Die soon. Corbin Miles. <laughs> Take that back. <laughs> Meryl Streep is going to live to 100. Well, yeah, maybe she doesn't want to. Uh, <sighs> anyways, delicious. If you've tried any of them, let us know. Um, because, boy... Those look great. I'm so hungry now. Um, let us know. Other food videos you can react to down below. Juice!